Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, this is the second part of the homework video that is going to be specifically going over domain and range. Transformations is going to start tomorrow, so all I'm doing is just adding to the domain and range values for the nine problems I've assigned to you. I told you that the domain in all mathematical problems is always going to be all real numbers. Make sure that you use the proper variable for domain. Your range value is going to depend on how the parabola opens, up like a U or down like a frown. Looking at the vertex right here, the vertex is zero, the Y value is zero. Because this parabola opens up, all of my range values are going to be greater than zero or equal to zero. Looking at my domain and my range for my second problem, domain is going to be the same thing, negative infinity to positive infinity. My range is going to be the exact same thing as number one, since the y value of my vertex is zero, and the direction of the parabola is up. y is greater than or equal to zero. Question number three changes. The domain is the same, it's the range that changes. Because the parabola opens down, and the y value of the vertex, which is right here, zero comma zero, y is not going to be greater than or equal to zero, it's going to be less than or equal to zero, since all of the range values are going to be below this vertex point. Number four, oh, I haven't gone back to fix the vertex. Excellent. Okay, the vertex of this one is going to be found based off of being able to graph it in the calculator. x squared plus 3x. My vertex is a minimum. Second calculate. Minimum. Left bound. Right bound to the right. Yes. Negative 1.5, negative 2.25. That means the, ax the axis of symmetry is going to cut through the x value of my vertex, which is at negative 1.5. My domain is going to be the same mathematically. My range is going to be based off of the y value of my vertex. Because my graph opens up, my range is going to be y is greater than or equal to negative 2.25. Number five, my domain is all real numbers. My range is going to be because the parabola is opening down, y is less than or equal to the y value of my vertex is negative two. This is another one that I needed to come back to in order to find out my vertex since it wasn't exactly on the line. Again, my vertex is a minimum, so second calculate. Minimum, left, right. 0.5, 0 0.25. X equals 0.5 is going to be my axis of symmetry since it's going to cut through the X value of my vertex. Domain is all real numbers. Range is going to be Y is greater than or equal to since this parabola opens up like a U greater than or equal to the y value of my vertex. In number seven, I needed to come back to my equation to find my zeros. Going into y equals negative x squared plus two x plus one. If I'm going too fast, you always can slow me down uh, 
by pausing my video or rewinding. I know I'm going quickly. I need to make it to Bible study. So I've got my x-intercepts. I push second, trace. They're also called my zeros. So I'm going to use number two. Left bound is going to be below this one. Right bound is going to be above this zero. Click enter. My x-intercept is at negative 0.4. The positive one is at is there any other one? Two point four domain, all real numbers. My range because the parabola is opening down. Y is less than or equal to the Y value of my vertex is 2. Two more. Number 8, there was the Y intercept that I wasn't able to finish from this one since you didn't know how to do them in the calculator. Make sure that you put parentheses around your fractions. To find my y-intercept, which I couldn't see in the graph here, to find my y-intercept, you push second trace. It's the value, number one, when x is zero. That's my y-intercept. It's going to be at zero comma six. My domain is all real numbers. My range, because my parabola opens up, is y is greater than or equal to negative two, the y-value of my vertex. Same thing with this one right here. Wasn't able to figure out what the y-intercept was. Second trace, the value. When x is 0, what's my y-intercept? 8. Domain. All real numbers. The parabola opens up. My range is y is greater than or equal to the y value of my vertex is negative 1. We'll do transformations tomorrow.